Welcome to FLIR Prime. I'm Grant Coffey. Biological agents or bios are nasty little buggers. They're some of the most toxic substances known. And unlike other seaburn agents, bios effects can be delayed. They can spread unseen like wildfire, both to the public and responders. There are three basic types of bio agents. Bacterials, including spores like anthrax, virals, like Ebola, and toxins, like ricin. Some of these agents are common and some are dangerous. They're very difficult to detect, especially when they're spread intentionally. Symptoms of bioexposure can be delayed days or even weeks. This can make containment of the spread of bios a huge puzzle. At the first consideration of a biocene, the choice, selection, and donning of personal protective equipment is critical. Hazmat teams, when responding to a known biocene or a bio lab, will don the most conservative or highest level of protection. That's level A. This assumes exposure to any patient or scene will include hazardous substances. So general precautions mean the use of non-permeable medical gloves, gowns, and face shields or eye protection. After protecting yourself and your team, the agent needs to be identified. This allows the medical professionals to identify precautions to prevent further spread. So, in order to do this, we need to take a sample. Remember, bio agents are nasty little buggers, and the key, again, is bioprotection and containment, getting a sample, making sure that we help the medical agencies prevent spread of this agent. Thank you for watching and keep coming back to FLIR.com for future episodes of FLIR Prime.